Hi everybody, here I am for a brand new tutorial and today we're just gonna cover the the use of the close modifier on a very interesting subject uh, next a request uh, I've got through YouTube uh, to try to represent uh, a real system a uh, solar roller system uh, in 3D Studio Max so here is not the reproduction of the real system but just how to uh, reproduce this uh, this effect with very basic options of Max without any very expensive plugins you just need Max and in my case Max 9 is, is enough so it should work with, uh, with more recent uh, versions so let's start so first of all we're just gonna draw a shape so from the create panel modify uh, uh, not modify shape sorry and we'll just start from a line and uh, draw basically a line with left click okay and close this shape okay um, in the modify panel let's call it cover okay and now let's open the line and select the vertices select them all right click and select the smooth option okay so here you get this what I'll call the swimming pool shape or if you prefer the cover shape which is based on your possible swimming pool okay so here it is so here we'll say this is a shape of a swimming pool um, just before uh, going further let's here say adaptative so by ch checking this this checkbox here this is smoothing here my curves so it's detailing it a lot but that's what I want in this particular case uh, let's just zoom all my views and turn off the grid here because I don't want <coughs> the first thing here to do is using a modifier we don't use very often is garment maker so what does this um, beautiful modifier is just meshing a shape with kind of uh, I say a big word kind of finite element uh, method okay so only triangles this is very cool for close uh, simulation and that's why I'm using it so here I'm gonna increase this density of one one step but here you can see it's quite dense this allows me will allow me to have a nice detailed simulation let's right click convert to editable poly here it is so here is our cover let's play a bit with materials now we need only three. First one will be the cover one and I will select a beautiful orange for 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 it a second one will simulate the water surface and here it is and the third one, I won't touch the color, I just increase here the specular level and increase a bit the glossiness just to make a kind of metallic effect, okay, we are not here as a material demonstration uh, the objective here is just to show you how the close modifier works <coughs> so, we need two other objects now which is a plane, okay which I'll center on zero 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 so move so you can right click on the move button or just tip in here your value so zero 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 make it square because I love square things so 300 by 300 and let's increase here 10 and 10 the length and width segments just to give more information about the mesh so that collisions will be probably better okay this is not necessary but it I personally prefer here it is select back our cover and just here put it a bit up so that it's not exactly uh, in the water and next and the final object here I'll take a cylinder you can make a tube you can make a box what you want okay which will be the roller so roller and as I'm in renaming session, let's here say water, oops, water surface. 
Now let's give a kind of realistic size so you can notice here I'm in centimeters uh, and I think f let's say four centimeters of radius which makes a diameter of eight and here pull that up and now make it enough long so that it's it's bigger than than the cover okay here is approximately that here it allows us to rel to roll this around this uh, pull down this to 1 and here to 16 and apply our beautiful gray material here is let's make a quick save to toe um, no mm -hmm. okay I already had one let's <coughs> erase the previous one uh, same thing I'm just going to place it to 0 0 and here you can see I'm not exactly intersecting the the cover I'm upon okay but not too far okay here we've done a, a nice nice progress let's now maximize the viewport with the alt w um, shortcut and go in top view with the t and go in wireframe and now with the cover selected let's choose here the close modifier not the reactor close the close okay only here arrives this interface first thing object properties second thing add object and select the roller and water surface click add and now just firstly say to max what is what cover is a close and we will preset it with uh, the polyester okay here you can shoot the one you want okay next the roller is not inactive is not a close it's just a collision object okay and the water surface exactly the same thing with the little difference that I will drag down to zero the dynamic and static friction parameters I will consider with these two parameters set to zero that my water surface is perfectly sliding okay let's click OK for info your static object have they have now a close modifier the roller too okay now <coughs> let's open the close modifier of the cover okay and let's select group now let's zoom here in this place where the cover is intersecting if we can say the the roller in top view and now we will just create a selection box and select all the vertices covered by the roller let's click make group let's say for example uh, connection vertices for example you can let group one and like so click sim node and now you have to select a static object and we're just gonna select the roller here it is you can see here if you drag this little sim node to roller you can unselect the group and pull this da uh, down we are ready to simulate but we are I've just missed a little thing is setting a bit the animation because actually we don't have done a lot of things so right click here and let's set the length to 400 okay 1x okay and now let's just animate a bit this so here we want that to roll so I will probably use this to set my rotations so turn on auto key and set a key at 0 0 next go to frame 10 set another key go on frame 400 go in rotation and uh, oop, it's not really what I wanted to do okay snap my the angle okay and make a rotation of 360 you can see in the in the in the box down on along the Y the the value of the rotation so let's put 360 and turn off the auto key just still with the roller selected turn open the mini curve editor and here you'll have one curve the green one which will make that select the last point and make it linear 
click so that the speed will slightly increase and next will be constant okay let's close this mini curve editor and turn off the wireframe and if we click play we should see the start of the rotation but you can see it's very very slow why because 36 degrees just for you to remember is only one turn and we want several turns so let's right click on the last oops on the last key here right click select the roller Y rotation here if it we've got 36 we are happy at that so with your cursor in this box press ctrl n it opens the numerical the numerical expression evaluator and now we just want 36 degree by the number of turn so probably mm -hmm, let's say 12 so you can s it make a lot of degrees click paste it puts the values here now if we just play back the animation you'll see it's rotating quite faster so here now we are very ready to simulate that so I won't develop you uh, there are some last parameters I forgot check intersection check it and the self collision and increase to one and now we are ready to make something good click set initial state we don't know it can be useful and now just click the sim uh, turn off the wireframe we will save a bit of resources and click simulate so here arrives a little window we don't have to touch anything else and now you can see that we are actually uh, computing the 25 each frames and you can see in the viewport frame by frame the modification on the cover which is correctly rolling around this cylinder okay so here what we've done with the sim node option of groups in the close modifier we had just said that some vertices were just connected to uh, to a solid um, to a solid object to a collision object which allows us by moving simply this uh, by animating very simply this collision object to make uh, interferences with the with the clothes okay so <coughs> with the make garment we had uh, increased if you remember the at the beginning we had increased the density don't put a too high density on your model why because this is only for simulation okay so of course the more dense it will be the more accurate it should be but it will probably won't be it won't be it won't be accurate um, never forget that it's only for calculation next you'll have the the render and the quality of the mesh a simple turbo smooth applied on your cover will just perfectly interpret uh, interpret the the calculation and you you'll have a beautiful result visually that's what I'm just gonna describe you next uh, the, the calculation that is actually happening so here you can see the time is increasing frame by frame we started at a very low value and now this is increasing because there's a lot of self collision of the cover rolling uh, on itself uh, so of course this is not a perfect close simulation the probably the best way to simulate um, textiles and other things is to use professional simulation softwares like ANSYS for example but for this particular case I don't think ANSYS is, n is necessary for that okay So I will probably cut the, the simulation to frame 200 I will uh, because I don't want to lose some time and I don't want to mount my video with any other softwares. Um, it's not my, my kind and I don't really know how to do it, <laughs> to be sincere. Um, so you just have to wait up to 400 and everything will be you'll just have I think because here uh, I've 
I've said a lot of turns of the roller so you'll have um, a kind of uh, of rolling uh, of crazy rolling but it's not a problem so how to calculate the number of turn it's very I would like to say it's very easy uh, let's cancel the, the calculation okay so here you can see so if we would like to change some material parameters just have to here erase the simulation I won't but you just have to here erase it modify your parameters and re-simulate now if I here just go back to the free MB0 click play you can see that directly in max it's rolling quite rest quite realistically okay only up to 200 because I've stopped okay now just to give a bit more quality to this mesh because as you can see I don't remember in which frame but here check this kind of, of here mountain like shape on this this age just apply a simple turbo smooth modifier with iteration one it should be already good click play okay it looks better it looks really better let's be crazy and add an iteration of two I think my <laughs> my computer will die that's the case okay next I uh, this is uh, a parameter you have to find okay so with this method with this method it's very easy next to add a to add materials on it press M for example very stupid thing just here in the diffuse channel just had a checker for example uh, sorry if I don't put this in the right materials of course it won't appear what I want checker uh, let's increase the, the tiling for example 20 by 20 let's show it in the viewport here and now if we just uh, I will put off the turbo smooth because I want some speed you can see the deformations it's interesting okay now if I here just click render okay it appears now <coughs> something interesting should be uh, to have a two side material so just go here and select <coughs> where is double side keep back material and for example set red if we hit render again we can see the red part okay <coughs> excuse me so here we've seen how to map this cover we can of course here it was it was just a, a checker but now if we move this oops sorry in this material if we move this checker map to the bump channel click copy for example turn off the diffuse 30 and if we it render again you can see it's okay now you can add a UVW unwrap and set your materials as you want you can have this this effect here it is I think I'm gonna stop this recorder right now because I think I've said everything if you want some more information be be sure to ask this question uh, as a comment or if you've got any other request um, request of tutorials go on my channel or send me a message through my YouTube uh, through my YouTube account uh, I hope this uh, tutorial had uh, has helped. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.